Okay, so this is ST Math Find the Primes. We'll see how GG solves this problem. So if I have no idea what a prime number is, maybe I'll just click 10. 10 goes there. We start pushing it. Oh, but it looks like 2 times 5 equals 10, so GG can't get across. So let's try 11. What happens with 11? Pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. Haven't made an array yet. Maybe we'll... Oh, oh, oh. Okay, it's prime because the only factors are one and itself. Okay, I know 12 is composite because it's even. Six times two is 12, so I'm not gonna click that one. I'm gonna try 13, it's odd, and I can't think of any factor pair other than one times 13. 13, here we go. Oh, oh, there we go, it's prime. Sweet, and GG gets across. So it's a review. A prime number only has two pairs of factors, one and itself. A composite number has more. So for example, I know 15 is composite because 15 times one equals 15, but also three times five equals 15. And I can recognize that because it ends in a five. So for example, if I press 15, I know this will be wrong because it's going to push this until it turns into 3 times 5, right? Boom, 3 times 5. So that's composite, that's wrong, GG can't get across. I'm uh, making a video right now. That's okay, I'll cut out this part of it.